Hi, my name is Charles Malky, biologist and plant expert with Ivory Organics, where we grow cool plants and authors saving the world, the home garden. Today we're here with Bill Brandt of the California Rare Fruit Growers chapter here in Los Angeles. Specifically, we're in Simi Valley, California, and today he's going to be teaching us, as he teaches a lot of the California Rare Fruit Growers, on how to graft, just in general, but specifically we're going to be grafting figs. Let's do it. Okay, well, I teach grafting with, uh, with apple grafting at high schools, and I do it at our local chapter. And so the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna go to a slightly advanced graft, not just a cleft graft, which where you split it in the middle. So I cut it diagonally, and then I'm gonna take the other one. It just happens to be the same size, and I'm gonna cut it diagonally also and get a, the bulk of it off. And then I'm gonna actually take a little hand plane. This is a little tiny uh, hobby hand plane. And I'm gonna shave this to where it's a nice, perfect, you could do it with a, a knife, but uh, I'm gonna try and get this with this little hand plane and that'll make it nice and flat. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here. And then we've got a pretty nice match there. So this is a little Stanley hand plane, a little tiny model, and even bigger block planes would work if you wanted. And you set that for a fine shaving and you get that to where you're your, your cuts are matching in length pretty close. And now what we're gonna do, so that would be just a splice graph right there. You could put that together, but it doesn't hold physically together very well. So we have add, actually add something called a, a tongue. So you come down about a third of the way. That's important to come down about a third of the way. And then you could very gently, I'm going toward my hand, which is not good, but I'm gonna wiggle back and forth until I get in about that far. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on this, on the rootstock, and I'm moving my hand. I'm gonna go in about a half inch to three quarters. And then we're going to interlock those two by forcing this open there. And then I'm gonna jam that together. And then, Hopefully we're gonna have that coming together. Now, at this point, I need to trim off all this excess on the top because it's kind of in the way. So I'm gonna have a couple of buds, okay. And then this actually should go and cover pretty well. So at this point now, I'm going to get, again, use the same parafilm, uh, actually type product, but it's the pre-cut uh, pieces. And I'm going to cover from the bottom up. And then I'll cut another piece in a minute for another, for the top. And then I have rubber bands here. So a rubber band is gonna stretch. That's a good thing. I've had catastrophes where I've had, you just cross over itself and you want to bind this together tightly so it increases the cambium contact and then back over itself. And then eventually you cross over, go through and grab that and you're done. That's the graft. And then we can actually add a little bit more of this tape, which is actually a budding tape. I think they may sell it as. And if you didn't have this to cover with, uh, especially if you were doing citrus or avocado, you would have to seal it and you could actually substitute putting a bag around, plastic bag around it with a damp paper towel inside. So then I would cover up to the top. But anyway, with a ba bag over, damp paper towel, and then you would, if you didn't have this, for citrus or avocado. And uh, then that would uh, suffice to keep it moist to where it was able to push in the springtime and open up. So that's a whip and tongue graft. So the whip graft is just like this without the tongue in it. And they'd use that in avocados and that works just fine. But you get a little more in interaction and actual gr gr grasp between the two. If you make this little tongue in here with that cut, you make one here. And so by using these noodles of different color, you can see how well they actually interlock. And then it actually has a physical grabbing that it does in addition to increasing the amount of cambium ex uh, uh, contact with each other. So that's a whip and tongue shown in a bigger version. So a whip and tongue graft is 
Preferred by a lot of us advanced grafters, it's a little bit more of a challenge, not much. And it actually increases the amount of surface area in contact. And actually you're trying to line up the cambium layer on the rootstock and the scion. The cambium layer is right under the bark. It's the only part of the tree that actually has the ability to heal and form new cells and bind and, and knit it together, you might say. So just like your skin, when you're cut, it heals. That's the only place in the wood. The center is actually dead, no possibility of growing new cells, and the bark itself is dead. So you line that up, and then you end up with a successful graft. So the whip and tongue graft, a lot of us uh, guys who've done this a little bit more than the beginner, uh, we go to because it increases the, the contact. It actually grasps, so if something bumps the cyan somewhere, it's not so likely to turn sideways or fall off. And so a lot of us just prefer this because it has more cambium contact, better grab, and just as physically a better start to it forming a new branch. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson brought by Bill Brandt of the California Rare Fruit Growers. You can also follow him and get a lot more education on grafting lessons at the Organic Garden Club of Ventura County. I'm going to be putting that link down below the video description. I highly recommend you guys to check it out. And again, thank you so much, Bill, for being with us today. If you've enjoyed this lesson brought to you by Ivory Organics, be sure to give us a thumbs up and most importantly, share us with your gardening friends and family. And as always, keep growing with Ivory Organics and wishing you all happy gardening.